Good evening, gentlemen. This is good. No women on here. Does that mean we can just be like blokey blokes and stuff? <laughs> all right, let's yeah, all... Yeah, we can talk about chest waxing again. Oh, <laughs> oh, does that discount me from the training, does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, look at this shit, too. Look at this shit. It's like, ugh. Uh, Why? Why? <laughs> But anyway, to start this tonight, it's just going to be a quick rundown. I've got my screen up here with the how to get set your e-wallet up. Now, like I say, it's the first thing. And that, that, this is a mindset thing, guys. Trust me, on a subconscious level, you think about this. By not setting it up or having it set up and finding trouble with it and not following through and finding it out, are you open to receiving any money? Are you open to getting paid? Like, seriously. Definitely go with me on this. Just remember, I've done a lot of mindset around. It might seem silly, Grant, but there's a lot of stuff. It's like open to accepting compliments. If you can't take a compliment, you can't give a compliment and expect someone to receive it. It's the same sort of shit. It's exactly the same. So now what we're going to do, you guys are going to enroll a shitload of people and get paid now because you have got that open link to get paid. So what you go into, you go into commission payout, which is in my profile. Have you got that there, have you, Grant? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm just clicking through it as we go. Yep. Go to World Ventures Payments as payment method. Just click on World Ventures Payments. Um, I've got commission payout and payment information. Oh, yeah. Payment method. Yeah, yes. Now, on the right of that, there's a big blue button that says activate account. Um, what says create account now? That's what you've got to do. Mine says activate account because it says I can update it. Yours has got to be create an account. That's what you've got to do before you can get money transferred. Even though I've got an e-wallet set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got to transfer it from your back office through to your e-wallet. They're two okay. separate things. Now, I can't walk through this again, <clears throat> but you follow the prompts now. It's self-explanatory. It goes through and it, it wants forms of ID, like maybe bank account details. I send in copies of my passport just for ID verification. A little bit different than other companies. I don't know what you were like, Kyle, in um, the other ones you were in, but this is the first one I've had to send bank account details and stuff like that. And you just follow the prompts and it takes about 24 hours. I think they say 24 to 48 hours, but you'll send in a couple of forms of ID they ask for. There's a way you can do it on there. You take a picture with your phone um, and you can send it in to the email address that they give you. Then they'll get back to you and they'll say when it's right to go. Is it walking you through it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, Clicking bloody fucking pictures, squares. Yeah. But that's, that's what, for anyone who's watching the recording or anyone who hasn't done this yet, that's a definite number one thing to do as soon as you watch this training, guys. If you haven't set it up, don't wait to enroll someone. Don't wait to wait for the commission. Set it up. Because it is. It's, it's a block. Definitely. I reckon this is going to be turn around for everyone's business. <laughs> If you fully believe it. I don't know what Kyle's picture's doing there. It's a picture of a screenshot. Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> it looks like, oh, yeah, he's back. You're like this. <laughs> Stunned mullet. That's, that's the face I had when I was getting my bloody chest waxed. Yeah, I bet. To... Um, if anyone's got any dramas with setting up the e-wallet and all that sort of stuff, and any of this sort of stuff too, guys, Email them or give them a call. They, they are pretty cool. As long as you don't get the Malaysian office, um, you've got you to have really good listening. But I've been getting a lot of the US. You call the Australian number and I'll be getting the US and they'll be able to help you with any of this sort of stuff and guide you through it. But that's one, that is the first thing. As soon as I got in my back office, of course I wanted to know how I was going to get my money ASAP. 
That's really, really important. Yeah, all right. So I've gone and got my account set up by looking at it. I haven't had to send anything, though. Yeah. And it's got a little picture of a bank. Uh, yep, there should be a couple of left. two spots, no. bank account details and um, a license or a passport or something like that. You've got to scan. And you can click them into the boxes. Cheers for your patience, you other two guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just reading the terms and conditions. Not for the whole lot, are you? I had a bit of that going on yesterday from um, Jason Ponda, who's down your side. He wanted to put his um, stuff on hold. Um, so me and Lee Lynch have been backwards and forwards with that because as you probably know, and this is my advice to anyone, you're going to have it there on hold. You're going to accumulate points anyway, unless it's a really tough financial thing. Well, I'm the one who says keep pushing and get your four people and you get it for free. That's the way I look at it because um, he didn't want to lose a membership or anything. But as you would know, to, to stay in the membership, to accumulate points, you've got to pay for it. That's why we keep pushing for our four. Um, How are you going there, Greg? Because I've got to roll on, man. Oh, yeah, no, I'm struggling. Because <laughs> it says I've still got nothing in there Yeah, but you've got to set it up, man I'm going to tell you where you're going to be able to see Where your commission payout was I'll just um. So go back, go to my What are we going to go here? Go to my account again All Yep right. Annual commission statement Yep. Actually, sorry, wrong one. My bad. Sorry, go to my business. I pre my business. Now you can click on two here. Go to finalise commission. It takes a little bit to come up. It might still be on because you haven't set it up yet. Commission preview. Yeah, still on. Yeah, righto. It should have on there commission period once it comes up. I'm just having a look at your other picture there now. Yeah, my screen never came up with that. Hey, I've got an automatic transfer set up when I set my first thing up, the picture you've sent me, Grant, so. Yeah, okay. Oh, slow. Yeah, I can see. I can see one $40 payment. Yeah, it's two twenties. It's $20 US for a gold, and it's 50 US for the platinum. Okay, so I got two people, Rob. That's forty bucks. Yeah, US. So what's that about? Fifty-five or something? Yeah. That's why. That's why too. You also you also want to get them to platinum. Not that we go for that straight up, but that's a fair jump from just gold to platinum. That's yeah, not a lot of money in a commission, though, is it? Twenty bucks. That's why you don't want them on gold, and they get way more benefits in platinum anyway. And the, what I've seen too, Grant, the power of this stuff here is when you get on a run with people around, you're getting them on too. That's why mine, there's a break in mine there. For, for a few weeks there, I got $40 and I went zero, zero. Yeah. So okay, so I've got finalised commissions. So how the hell do you get them out of there then? Yeah, well, you've got a... That screen you sent me, I, I may, I, if I'll do maybe just email them and say, hey, I've set up this and this just to double check because the way I went through and done it, I had no dramas. I just yeah. walked straight through them steps.
it's like anything. I've gone to their email and I've just gone and checked whatever emails to get on them. If it's not in um, what's the name hours, like the first time, do you know how we had that stuff around um, how I didn't explain it to you properly about the two different buttons you've got to click for the membership, for the business yep. and the goal? I, I emailed them to find out that myself at the start. And this is what I suggest to everyone too. Just get the emails and the phone numbers and that, they're handy too. Um, because it helps. If you're going to get someone in your team ring up too and go through you, you don't want to have to train on this all the time either. You want to be able to say, yeah, well, this is what I did. And that's all I'm doing now is I'm passing that on. It's a good, it's a good way to learn this stuff too. Get it wrong <laughs> and work your way through it. Because then you'll remember it more. Because you'll be like, I don't want to do that again. Of course I'm going to remember this. Yeah. So yeah, like I say, for anyone else watching the recording, any of you guys that are on here, go through, please set up that e-wallet. Absolutely set it up. Any dramas, put it in the group or if you can't get through to the, the number or anything like that, definitely get through to the group. But my experience with them so far, they've helped out with everything. What's Pioneer? That, now that's something to do with the card about keeping it offshore. Me personally, I don't know about that because I haven't set that up. I know Lou Hardy had it for a while. I don't think she has it now. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's something. Kyle, did they mention anything about that with that new card that, that night you went to? Um, oh, the one that I went to ages ago. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They mentioned that it's still like in development. And it's yeah. a pretty cool little uh, concept. It is. It's really, really good. Well, they've got an option there now where you can actually get it. I think it's released here in a couple of weeks. I'd say it's something to do with that grant. I can actually, I want to find out about that now. Because like I say, I've set this up the way I have for me. And until anyone wants to do different, then I've got to learn something different. Because I'm not going to go through and learn all this. I'll find out about that. Yeah. But, okay. all right. The other thing. Now, what I was going to go on about tonight... This is only going to go for another 15 minutes or so, guys, because what I want you to do... Now, a couple of you have messaged me. You guys haven't, but a couple of guys have messaged me about the I-8 saying they can't get in. Now, I think I found the reason why, um, because if you go from just your notes, it will never log in. If you copy it from your notes, it will not log in. It keeps saying not existent. No, here, you've got to literally type it into your browser and then it works fine. So that's, that's probably more so for the guys who have messaged me in the last week or so who are getting on the recording of this. But to go in the I-8 and what I mentioned in my video earlier today is at the core of all this is your why. Now, Shane Anderson does a really cool video at the start of this about your why. He's got a funny red shirt on. It's not funny. It's got the I-8 on it. It's just, oh, good old Shane. But it, it goes through and it goes through areas what, what, what you why, what you're after and all that sort of stuff. Now, me personally, like I say, I'm going to go deep on mine very soon in a proper training. I really want a heap of people to go on. I know, Grant, you know my situation pretty well. Um, especially lately, guys, like I just sold my house for 85 grand less than what it was meant for. And that was my gap, my fill-in money to keep me going. So that was a fair sort of kick in the guts when that's happened, but it had to happen. And that's just changed the way I go about this. It's always been my while the way along, like, say, to have that financial freedom and all that, you can put whatever spin on it. But for me personally, now renting a house when I was hoping to buy a house by now, um, that was my 12-month goal 12 months ago. That hasn't happened. It's been put off by 12 months. And to have to live from week to week to week to week over the last probably three months, that's a big reason why I want to stop doing that. Coming from the mining life where I was earning four or four and a half grand a week, going through personal development last year, which I'm still paying off, by the way, which is thousands of dollars, going into more personal development this year, which is costing thousands and thousands of dollars. That's my own choice. But it's put me under a lot of financial strain. And um, that's a big part of my why going forward. Like even having my mum work still. Within 12 months, I do not want her to be working because it's doing my head in. That's a big part of my why. So when you're thinking about your why, guys, you say you're doing it for your family and doing it for this and that really really go deep on the stuff that is that is getting to you now that's a good way i look at it what's getting to you now i say it's a lack of don't focus on the lack of the money just say that's what it is so you want more always say it's more abundance of 
you want more, 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 focus on the more. Um, and I'd say that's a, a lot of people. And I know with yourself, Kyle, and yourself, Lee, and even you, Grant, you, you guys that are on here with your work situation, of course you don't want to be working fucking five, six, seven days a week, 80, 90 hours, whatever it is. I, I did that for ages without a family, and it's chaotic. That's, that's a big oh, part of I opened eight weeks yesterday, on Sunday. Hey? First day off in eight weeks. Uh, eight, yeah, eight weeks on Sunday just gone. Yeah, now you're dealing with a crook missus. Fucking poor bastard. Yeah. <laughs> but you see what I mean with the why? But what I want you to do with the why, I want you to write it so you see it every day. Seriously. Even if you keep it away, you're putting it in a diary or something, I want you to look at it every day. I want you to write it clear. What, what's really getting to you the most about it and just think of the opposite of it. I've got one fly in the house and I swear it's been following me around for the last hour. Anyway, but that I feel is really, really important, guys. Something that I've brought more into it. I've been a lot about visualization and not writing a lot of stuff down. Lately, I've been writing a lot of stuff down. I've been putting it where I can see it. I've been getting reminded daily of it and not just daily. Um, it's several times a day. Have a screensaver on your phone. Have something like that with a quote or a power sentence or something that links into your why. So I know it's a big thing with you, Kyle, because like I say, the other week you're like, fuck, I'm overwhelmed and all this sort of stuff, as you can be when this isn't your primary thing. You've got to go and make decisions, big decisions. You've got to go earn money, which you're earning now by the dollar. Of course, when shit comes up, you're going to get overwhelmed, but that's why I know your why. You've dug deep and you're like, nah, fuck it. I've been in this for the long haul. I'm fucking learning more. I'm getting a bit out of it. That's your why deep down that's driving you on this. And like I say, Lee, yourself, first week, day off in eight weeks, I used to do that in the mines, but I never had a family, dude. So I can only feel you to a certain extent. <laughs> I just understand what it's like to work a lot of hours. Yeah. I, I do. That's, that's, the, that's the only point of view I can give on this. But I used to work with a lot of guys away from their family who used to work for, I used to make them work for six or seven weeks. They were willing because they wanted the money, but then I seen the stress it put them under when they were actually at the point to go home and it was no good for them because they literally go home for seven days and like, what, what life can you have in seven days? Like, what life can you have in one day, man? It, it's not. Same as you, Kyle, like putting in the hours and grant, like putting in these hours afterwards. That's where your why, you've got to look at it every day. You've really got to look and it's got to make you, it's got to make you feel fucking sick in the stomach having to live that for any more than 12 months, 18 months or two years. Seriously, when you see that, if, you, if it doesn't make you feel that way, if what you're doing now, if you want to do that in 12 or 18 months, yeah, you can still be working and stuff, but in the, the hours you guys are putting in, fuck that. That's why your why has got to touch you deep. It has to. You do not want to be in the same position in 12 or 8 months. I do not want to be in the same position in fucking three months. So I've got to keep revisiting it. I've got to keep looking at it. So the I-8, I really want you to go into the I-8, guys. And like I say, for everyone getting on the recording, go into the Y. It's a bit of a training. It is. It runs you through it. It's pretty cool. Go through some, some um, mindset stuff. Vision. Belief and thoughts to feelings, action, results. Love. Everything we do in life is for a feeling. It goes through like clarity is power. I like, <laughs> I like this. Some of this stuff is what we've done on the Beast Mode Retreats. Declaring stuff out loud. If you go into the success priming, you've got affirmations, declarations. You know what a declaration is? An affirmation is weak as piss, I'll be honest. They're cool, they're good, they work if you repeat them over and over and over. A declaration is where you go stand on a fucking mountaintop or on the fucking beach or somewhere, screaming at the sky, belting your chest and declare what you're going to do. Declare what you're going to have. Do it. Get out of your comfort zone, guys. I do it a lot. I've got to stop doing it because I fucking hurt my chest sometimes. Can't do it now, I've got a polished chest either. <laughs> but it is. We do it on, like I say, them retreats, we do a lot of stuff where we declare. I declared... Last February, and I've done it as an example of two other retreats last year, where I got up in front, we put a hand on our chest, and we declare when we're going to be a millionaire by. I've got till December 25th this year. I called that a February last year. Now, I've got a lot of fucking work to do, but I declared that out. You declare it out, it makes it a lot realer. 
Might seem silly, but why not? Do it one time. I used to do it all the time in anger. I used to like let relief out. I'm like, ah, fuck world, fuck you, whatever's up in the sky. That's what I used to do. So what used to happen? Shit used to show up. Shit went wrong. So why can't it work the other way? It's just all part of a massive puzzle, guys. And if you can do any little 1% like that to make a little bit of difference in your own head, that's going to make 1% difference in your actions. That's going to make 1% difference in your beliefs. You need to know that 1% could be that, that next little bit, instead of having your toes over the line of getting them enrollments, could just push you over the edge and get that one, get that two, and who knows what will happen. That's why I'm wrapped. You've been doing the, the debrief, Kyle, but understanding it a bit more now from your own awareness because that's what that's about. It's the same sort of stuff. Or you can use any, any of these things, guys, any of these strategies, any of it, but right back to the core of it, doesn't matter. If your why is not strong enough, you're not going to get there. You're going to get challenged. You're going to have nothing to tap back into. So that's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a task, guys. Um, I'll put it out to you as if you want to put in the group any feedback you want to get from that. And like I say, especially from the recording, um, because what I've found is you guys that get on, you do give me feedback and I really, really appreciate it. Even sometimes when you don't, um, I really appreciate it. I like yourselves and Amy especially. Um, it's really, really cool. But that I ate, get into that I ate. I'm looking at the time. I promised GT I'd be off by nine o'clock. Hey. Yep. Um so when we were doing beast mode last year, um yep. we were doing our no, oh, we did heaps of Zoom calls, live feeds and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Um is oh, I don't I don't know what's going on with Lee Lynch. You speak to him more than I do. Yep. But I reckon it'd be cool if we could tee up something with the two of you guys. Yep. Really running us through everything and just freaking not like getting down to some hardcore shit. Can't get into the hardcore shit unless you get the basics right. Yeah. Because you but know like, what? I, I, I know them basics, man. That's success priming. I haven't even taught half of that yet because you've got to show up before it becomes any good. And that links into the deeper goal setting. That links into the visualization. That links into everything else, dealing with cause and effect and all that. I can roll out fucking five hours of training if you want. But unless you can get that basic right, the rest of it means nothing because you've got to do the same with the rest of it. You've got to apply it. You've got to apply it over and over and over. That's, that's the main reason I do it, man. And at the end of the day, it, 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 myself even, one fly flowing down here. If I don't do this stuff over and over and over, I've got to go back through everything and start again. Like I've missed a few success primings in that lately and I'll tell you what, yeah, I might have been crook, but far out of I lost some motivation. So yeah, I've missed a couple too. Yeah, back to basics. It's as simple as that. It's the basics. If you master the mundane in any of this stuff, in anything in life, guess what? The more simple you can make it, but the better you can get at the simple shit, easier your life's going to be. Then you can get into the deep, the deeper stuff. That's but a lot of the deeper stuff too, and I'll be honest, it just links back into that stuff because you think about it. You go into all your life areas, you've got all your goals set. You're building your self belief, you're telling yourself certain things day after day after day. You're dealing with situations during the day better. So your days are going better. Whatever it is you're in, it could be at work or whatever, yet your actions are better, they take less energy to get. You feel better. What are we doing in life? We want to feel better. We want to do things that make us feel better, make our families feel better. You can just do the basic shit forever. And I bet you if you read some successful people's books, they'll tell you straight away, you get the basics right. All you're doing is evolving the basics. That's all you're doing. It's not going to get you there quicker. That's why I've been pulled up a lot lately off Michael. And this is why I love working with him. Seriously, I've been doing my best. I'm like, well, I know this, this, and this. I just want to get to the fucking finish line. I'm skipping a lot of the basics and when it comes down to it, I'm missing out on getting people on or like I say, getting people to duplicate because I haven't been going and just doing the basics good. It's simple as that and I own that. 
do you think that you're enrolling people based on the actual business and the opportunity or enrolling them because they're just basically trusting you and, and, and just wanted to work with you? It's a combination, but I want them to succeed. And this is the thing that's been really good lately is like the, I want to cut you off my list thing. It helps a lot because any of you guys, I want to work with you to help you guys be successful. So anyone I'm talking to and anyone I'm rolling, that's my, my, my main intention. The trust has got to be there. Yes, absolutely. That's yeah. me. It doesn't have to be there and you can build trust. That's something actually I can teach. Have I taught that in the group before? I can teach that, hey, building trust and put a, put a network marketing spin on it. I've definitely mm, spoken yeah. about three things in four seconds. Yeah. Because I know, I know coming from that, having credibility, if you will, and all that sort of stuff, that helps. But a lot of us, we're talking to people we don't know. So I go back to it like the training the other week. Talking to going back to that list, talking to people we've already spoken to, talking to people who already know us. Because building trust is huge in network marketing, guys. It's massive. Massive in any business, as you would know, Lee and Kyle, you, you don't just pluck clients out of the sky all the time, do you? Sometimes you've you got to do a good job first, don't you? To get repeat work. Yeah. It's the same in this, guys. You've got to show up as the best version of yourself constantly. Otherwise, people are going to call you for fake. The same thing. So how can we be seen getting a result with World Ventures or, or doing something with the company to, to draw what? people in? Like, all right, Isogenics, I used it, shit, it worked. I had yep. the result. People were just like, fuck, yeah, I want that shit. And I'm yep. like, yeah, let's do it. You know, and bang, 35 people enrolled. Number one, but up here, Grant, a trip to the reef. I was looking at them today. Hold the little blue sign. That's the product. We, I know in Cairns, we haven't got, we've got the Pullman's Resort, that's it. We've got to get some dream trips local. Same with where you are down there, Lee. Um, yeah. Same thing with you and Amy. You guys have got nothing on there at the moment. A trip to Melbourne or something like that. Um, when you, you earned a day off, which I think was like probably two years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it all costs money and I know, guys. I know. I know the situation everyone's in. I understand that. Even myself, seriously, like the last few weeks, far out. I've looked at that Cairns dream trip, just the one of the day one to the reef. I'm like, far out. I've got a, the two of us, it's like 200 and, I think it's $240 or $260, which is a full thing off the reef. That's our thing up here. That's actually pretty bloody good. But Kyle, around where you're, dream trips local. I've spoken to Simon and Dave, the guys in Melbourne, the restaurants. That's the product. Take unsuspecting friends out to dinner and get them to all chip in and then come back and show them the points you get. That's using the product. We need more of that up here, Grant, I agree. Even, Lee, where you guys are, when, when Amy's up and about and um, a bit more active, might even have a look at, at the other people that she's connected with there and seeing what they're doing and all that. I might even have to get on a call to them because I don't think they're very active at the moment down there. That's just my yeah. what I'm gathering. Well, we're not even doing a dream trip. What about just taking our sign everywhere? If we go somewhere cool, just rip it out and put a photo on. Do it. Do it in Cairns. Do it fucking somewhere that looks good. Do it. Maybe Albury. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you rip it out, skydiving over St Kilda Beach. Why not? But here's the thing too, guys. You go into the app, go to activities. You can book everything from airport transfers to anything in your area. Have a look at the activities. Because what they do, I've found today, they obviously haven't gone to all these companies. They must go through TripAdvisor or Expedia as well and take their little bit out. You can do it for the same price as all that. You might be able to do an activity for like a few hours one day. It might be skydiving somewhere. It might be something that costs 150 bucks. But then think about it. You do it with a little blue sign. You promote the shit out of it. Leave it as your Facebook profile or whatever it is you want to do, your picture. It's there. People are going to ask. That's the way they've shown to use the product. I haven't done it yet myself. I put a sign up with me and Bella at the Travel Expo. That's the one I done. But I still, I still get asked. That's the thing. Mostly from people I've spoken to who already know what it is. They're like, oh, is that World Ventures? <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, it is. Do you want one of them signs? <laughs> 
Yeah, it's just that when we start we're using the sign, it's gonna basically take the um what's the what do you call it? The um Curiosity. The curiosity away, yeah. Oh if they know it. I didn't know what that little blue sign was till I joined. I joined after I even knew what the product was. I just had a different mindset around it. I just wanted to work with Michael. That's that's what I wanted to do. And then I've learned as I've gone. So everyone's different too on these guys. Everyone's different how they see it. I'm just going into the app. I just want to go in here for a sec. I'm going to... If you guys have got the app handy. I've got no internet here for two weeks. I'm hot spotting the whole house. Imagine how much data I'm going to use. Crazy. Um, hey, you know... Can you get Michael on one of these Zoom calls? Oh, if, I, if I get some more results, yeah. If I get more than us three on, yeah. If I get 12 or 15 people on, yeah. Yeah, well, let's do it. Yep. Got to get the numbers, man. Well, we've got to book him in then. We've got to get everyone in the team on. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, we've got to get more teammates. All right. Uh, you go into put the it to him. I want, I want everyone actually to do this whenever they get a chance. Go into the app, go to activity, type in your local area. I'm going to type in Aubrey. Oh, not Albuquerque. Nothing in Aubrey. Because places even like Mildura had a Murray River steam paddle boat cruise. That was there. Yeah. It was skydiving up there. All right. Saying there's no activity. Fair enough. Because the other thing we can do too, and there's no reason that we can't do it either. Have a chat to a restaurant here and there. Like we were talking about this a little while ago, Kyle, and he spoke to a guy who did that. If you know anyone in the restaurant game or bloody kebab shops, anything, hotels, anything, just have a quick chat to them. Say, hey, this is what I'm a part of now. Most of them are going to be on TripAdvisor, Booking.com, all that sort of stuff. They're going to be recommended through some app or some website. All right. You might have to move, Lee. Can't find anything. <laughs> They need to make some of the snow or something at Falls Creek and that. That's for winter. That's ideal. Where you guys are, like that's like the number one passage through to the snowy mountains from Vic. Yeah. Even through back into Victoria. I used to go through your way all the time on my way to Ginderbine. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'd be heading. Over there down to Bright and all that. Yeah, oh, that's Victoria, that area. Maybe we can get up there. They've got hang gliding and all that. You can do off mountains and bright and stuff like that. Get up there and get them on board. Yeah, I can see you jumping off Buffalo there, mate. Go for it. Yeah. I'm going skydiving in the next month or so. So what's a mountain? Have you booked it? No, I haven't booked it yet, but I'm going to get it. They've called, you can't go around here anymore. You used to be able to go in Cairo, but you can't now, so I've got to go to Melbourne. Nagambi? Hey? Nagambi. They do skydiving north of Nagambi, which is probably about an hour and 15 from your joint. Oh, yeah. It'll be all right. But, yeah, we're going to do it the next month. So. All right. I'm going to make it. You could be another good spot for you, too, to go to. I'm going to. Paddle steamer. Paddle steamer. But any of this sort of stuff, back to it. Go through, have a play in your app, towns or whatever close to you. All that. Have a look. See what you can plan even in the next couple of months. The events. That's coming up boot camp. There's no reason why you can't just put a post on about an event. Have, like you said before, Grant, just a picture with you with the little blue sign, just holding it just randomly. Say, I can't wait to go to an event where there's going to be 5,000 of these waved in the stadium. There's an idea for a post or something. Things like that. It's until you utilize the product. It's like with any company like you worked, brought up before, Grant, to use the product. I came into this with no intention to use the product at the start. My intention was to build a team and help them build a team, help everyone build a business. Then I started doing that. 
so it was working until I worked out that everyone's different. A lot of us have got to use the product and then I have to start using the product too. I spoke to guys that just do the business here in Cairns. There's people that come down from that, that have been at them travel parties that just do the business. They haven't used the dream trip. So everyone's really, really different. I'm always going to be looking for how we can get you going. That's the product. Definitely. Um, oh. Where did we get those little blue signs from? What's your address, man? I'll send you one out. I did a training about, oh, it would be six, seven weeks ago where I said um, on the first email and I, I called it out anyone who wanted it. Um, it was my bad because I didn't even see it on the first. I duplicated. Michael didn't tell me shit about the first 30 days. But on your first email in 30 days, you can get your pack for seven ninety five or something. I remember you saying something about you can... You, you can still get it. Yeah, you yeah. can still get it, but they're like... They're like twenty one dollars US. So I bought I bought some packs. Yeah, I bought like six packs. So I've got one I'll continue, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just text me your address again. And I'll post yeah, it down. Yeah, thanks, man. What is that noise? Probably my fish tank. <laughs> Crickets or something. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to touch on tonight, um, like I say, but the why is important, guys. It's hugely, massively everything just about. Go to the I8, go through that, post some feedback in the group. Then it just shows the guys that are missing out, they are, oh, don't need to get on that training. It is important to get on these things because it's just a guide to help you out where you might get some something out of it. But the why is massive. Right, no. Um, I wanted to touch on two. I'm going to round it up in a minute. I'm already late. It's all good. But you get out of this what you put in. We, we know that. It's like anything. But what I want you to understand, and when shit gets tough, go back to it. Use it part-time. Part-time. Don't be so hard on yourselves. Because what happens when you're hard on yourself? You do want to give up. It crossed my mind a few times. You just, want to, you just want to throw it in or you want to give something up. You want to stop doing something. Because you, everyone, we're all too hard on ourselves. Yeah, you've got to push yourself sometimes because you want it. And this is where your why is important too. But if you can only put in the half an hour a week, rate your results at that half an hour a week. If you can put in four hours a week, rate your results at that four hours a week. Then give yourself a kick up the ass if you don't do the action in that four hours a week. That's fine. But don't get so hard on yourself and say, well, this, this is not right. I can't do this. It's not working. And then go back to it too. And this is, this is why I, I really, really want everyone, everyone to push for their four. I really do. Because once you're running free, the whole outlay of the initial startup, that drops from your mind. That just disappears. It does. Because I know it's a financial outlay. I know it is. As soon as that four happens, that's gone from your mind. So what happens then... You're not so hard on yourself. That doesn't come up. Doesn't doesn't frustrate you as much. It's a good feeling, guys. It's a good feeling. It's, it's like when you get one. I'm going to say Kyle and Lee and Amy. When you get one, it's a good feeling. You get two, it's a good feeling. You get four, it's like and that whole thing goes out of your head. And it makes a huge difference because a lot of the decisions we make these days away from this, they're based financially. They are. And they're from a lack of. Making decisions from a lack of, usually you do it out of frustration. Usually you, you don't, maybe make the wrong ones, but they're out of haste. They're out of reaction, not out of planning. And that's, that's what will happen with this. And it's, like I say, that's why I put so much priority on the first four to run free. First four run free, you get, if you get platinum, you get most of your money back. If you go gold, it is pretty well borderline. So that's, that's all I wanted to say on that, guys. Sit down. I've gone through it in time blocking. I've mentioned it a few times. There's a lot of time each week can do it. It's, and put the training in this too, guys. You can only get on the training for an hour a week and you've got an hour spare. That's it for the rest of the week. Just put that there. Put your action. Map out your action in that hour or two hours. Map it out. 
You've got to have this stuff written down, my guys. Because at the end of the day, when you're frustrated with all the other work you're putting in, all that other time you're putting in, guess what's going to get picked on? The, the, the thing you put the, the smallest amount of time on. Where it could be, you, you think about this, and I, I see this a bit. You think about it. You guys, just say average is work 70, 80 hours a week, maybe? Yeah? <coughs> Something like that. Yeah. Maybe. Well, he probably around. does. <laughs> what the yeah, I, I would know. Yeah, it could be more. I, know, I used to. I used to be. I think mine was 185 to 195 hours a fortnight. That was mine. You imagine doing your job now for two hours a week, and the results you would get out of that, and the work you would get done, or four hours a week. You think of that. Compare it to this other one. All you're going to get for that four hours is the hours you work. So all you're going to get paid. You're not building anything. You're not creating a business. You're not, you're not building relationships, really. You're just going to go work. You clock on, you clock off. And you're not going to get much done, are you? Pitch, hard, no. pitch your network marketing business like that. Swap it around. You are putting 80 hours a week into it. You'd be taking different action for a start. You'd be making a lot more contacts. You'd do a lot more training. But you aren't in a position to do that. So why would you be so hard on yourself? Or why would you want to give up on something that you put a little amount of time in? Little amount of time, little amount of results. And it, it is pretty direct, guys. I keep talking about the law of averages. And that's for a, a few messages I've got from um, the recording too for you guys. And I pray that you watch the recording. Because I had to bring that up for a couple of guys that are getting hard on themselves, but then they look at it and they're like, well, I haven't even spoken to anyone for two weeks. That's okay. <laughs> zero calls equals zero results. Why would you be hard on yourself? One call, no result. Why would you be hard on yourself? Ten calls, no result. You, still no reason to be hard on yourself. The ten messages. There's not. So that's, that's just all I wanted to add on that little bit. I don't think there's any use unless he's got some questions on that, which would be cool. Negative. That sounds like we've got a helicopter. Kyle's muted. You're muted, dude. Um, yeah, no, you keep breaking up pretty bad, man. Yeah? Hey, Everyone else got me? Yeah, I got you now. Yep. Yeah. Everything's with hotspot. Oh, don't want to show you that phone. Internet with hotspot. Love Telstra. So where are we at with the rest of the team, mate? What do we have to do to get them on these calls? I've been asking myself the same thing, man. I've been putting in personal messages, calls, asking for times and feedback. Like, I know Lee and Cal Lynch, they've been in and out of Wi-Fi. It takes two days for Lee to get back to me. And me and Lee are good mates. We've had good chats about this. Um, he should be at a, a good hotel tomorrow for a couple of days. Um, so I've literally, from when we first arranged to have all these group chats and that, that we're going to be doing every second week and that, I can't expect them to do any of it. I can't. Not while they're traveling. They're back in about, I think they're back in a month or three weeks, which is cool which is really, really good. Um, yeah, that's all right. Yeah. No, I, I have been in contact with all of them. Trust me, guys. I, I, I don't just talk to you guys. So imagine all the messages I get from you guys, backwards and forwards. I get similar from them, but I do send a lot of them too. And as we know in this game, guys, you don't want to have to be chasing tail all the time. You don't. You don't want to have to be going back to people. Yeah, it's, it's good to get enrollments and stuff. It's awesome, yeah. But if you're building a team and building a business, you don't want just the enrollments, do you? And it's, like you said before, Grant, you get paid $20 US for a goal. Obviously, it's not about just the enrollments. It's about building that team. That's what it's about. So you can only go back for so much. And that's for any of you guys that get on the recording too. Please leave me feedback. Like, I'm happy to t tell me why you just can't get on or why you just can't. Is it the time? Is it not in your hour or two hours a week allowed, but I, I don't know unless I know. And that's, like I say, Grant, I do get on to them a lot, man. I, yeah, because like, you know, some of these people aren't getting on or in our downline, my downline yeah. as well. 
Yeah. I'd love to see him. So, I, man, I would. Like I said before, when you ask, when I go to enrol people in that, I talk to a lot of people, yeah, but I want to work with these people I talk to too. I just don't want to enrol them. It's not what I want to do. Yeah. If I was in that business, I'd go into Forex. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Just go on enrolling spree. It's not about that. This, this, this business is not about that. All the coaching and everything I get from Michael and Shane and Gary, guess what? It's like, all right, if they don't want to come to the party, don't expend too much energy on them. That's what they tell me. These are the successful guys in the company. That's a tough one to do. Because I want to keep going, everyone. I want to help everyone. It's like you guys. You want to see them show up. Yeah, it's just always us, the usual suspects. Yeah. Well, do you know what I see with that? The usual suspects is the usual suspects are going to be on stage, be it in 12 months, be it in 18 months, be it in fucking two years. Mm. That's, that's what I see. And that's what I believe. And it goes back to faith. That's what everyone's got to have. Yeah, no, it's not, not hard to get on a call once a week. It's not, eh? It's not. But and it's a simple mindset thing, guys. Every other thing's way more important. But if you want to do something new or you want something new in life, you've got to do something different. A lot of the guys, and I'll, I'll call them on this, are still making decisions from the place where they haven't got stuff. Still making decisions from the place where that they, they haven't got the life they want, but they're making decisions because they think they know better. They don't. So what do they do? They go, oh, I don't need to show up. I don't need the training. I'm going to talk to people my own way. I'm going to talk to them when I want. Guess what? Zero results. Simple as that. They're not learning. They're not growing. Because I'm not just talking about world ventures on here. Hmm. I always say it could take one thing and you know this grant one thing that I say or one of the other guys says on here it doesn't have to always come from me that could change your mindset that could not blow your team up could change the way you fucking live your life that's why last yep. year and I always use this as an example when I joined beast mode I was on trainings four nights a week and holding it myself I never miss shit because I valued change so much, I valued what I didn't have so much that I went to absolutely everything. Even when I was pissed off at what was being said, even though when I was getting fucking boots dug into me, because I knew that if I could deal with it better, I would show up. And I would show up because that was how I was going to get better and get to where I, I got to a point where I was coaching. I wanted to do that. I'd never coached before. I never knew how to do that, but I got to that point because I kept showing up kept doing things from someone who had the result that I wanted in terms of Lee Bundy, I wanted to get to that point. Even when shit was hard, even when, like I say, I copped a lot of grief. I learned a lot from it, but I got a thick skin from it. A lot of people in the team haven't got a thick skin. Simple as that. Mm. But, yeah, I remember that. You're always on calls. And, yeah. Um, you know, and it wasn't just that as well. You know, you're on your isogenics one, same as me. You know, yep. I was doing about bloody six or seven a week myself. Yep. I wasn't well, even going as hard as you. <laughs> yeah, but I seen that too. And that's when I go back to going back to basics too. I want to pump out fucking five nights of these calls a week, but it, it's not going to work because it's got to be efficient action too. Last year was efficient action, but it took over my freaking life. I've got massive results, but on a personal level. Seriously, I'm like... I'll look back at last year because of the work I put in, because showing up for calls, for valuing time of others that had what I wanted. See, I mightn't have what some of the team want. I might not. They might want to fucking wax chest and stuff. But a lot of the stuff I'm getting is from... <laughs> a lot of the stuff I'm getting is from Michael, from Shane, from Gary, the guys who have got it. We can just plug them into the Sunday night calls. But I don't know about you guys. Yeah, they're, they're, they're awesome. But it's going to be the same thing every Sunday night. This is a bit of a different twist because it's personal. This is like, this is where you guys can come straight on, straight to the point, which I think is more powerful. Don't you? Yeah. 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 Well, can I, I want to say something here then. Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> This is for us that are on this call. This is for also for everybody who's not on this call tonight. Yeah. Steve, I would like you to reach out to Michael yeah. and ask him if he can jump on our Zoom call next Tuesday night. 
Yeah. And us three, or well, you as well, so the four of us, plus the people that aren't tonight, pull our fucking fingers out and get on this call next Tuesday night and make it worth our while and see if this shit's real. Simple. I can, I'll ask him. I've asked with him before. Me? Yeah. I, I'll ask him. I've asked him before. Do you know what he told me? He's like, if you can get 20 people on a call, I'll get on it for you. <laughs> Yeah, well, we need to lock him in. Won't get on it. Get him on. Tell him he's locked in Tuesday, and we'll get the people on. How about we get the people, and then he can be locked in. When he gets back on, what is it, Tuesday? He's flying out tonight. I think he's in Hong Kong tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As soon as he gets in, oh, I need to message him because he'll be on my case because I haven't got anyone in the team, and no one else has duplicated. So trust me, he's coming back from Israel with a flying boot for my ass. But yeah, no, I'll definitely, I want, I want that two grand. I want to be able to have that because you look, the first week we're on here, I got Savas on a fucking call for fuck's sake. Yeah. Because I got the numbers, because I got people showing up. The way it works with these guys, and I, I like that setup, I do. It's like when you guys have a team too, you get, you're, you're putting in a lot of work now. When this work starts to pay off, you're going to expect the people that you get in for all the work you've done to value your time. You're not just going to go out of your way for them. You're not. Trust me. So, all right. That's done, Grant. I know that was a big deal for you to spit out, but it's easy. <laughs> yeah, I just... I want him to say, yes, he'll be on and we'll make sure it happens. I'll love that training because he'll probably kick my ass in front of you. <laughs> that's good. But, you know, like, you know, he's our upline leader. I'd love, you know... I'd love for him to get on a call and teach us. We're a group. Yeah. Teach us. Yeah, definitely. No, I agree. I totally agree. Totally, absolutely agree. Not that you're not doing a sterling job yourself, mate. You're doing a ripper job. Too late, man. You've lost me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am going to wrap it up. I have to. It's been an hour. I appreciate you guys. There's a couple of things to take out of that tonight. I'm going to do a post tomorrow. Um, on this, I really, really, really want um, everyone else to watch this recording. I think what I might do, you guys that are on, just put something once I do the post. Wait till I do the post. Um, oh, losing my voice. Something in the comments about the training. But the why is huge. Simple as that. It, it is simple as that. But where to go in the I8? Because it's got a training on it. Simple as that. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate your time. Send my best to Amy Lee. Will do, mate. Yeah, she was she was, she was scaring me on a few of her messages today. It was it was all good, but yeah, yeah she's pretty sore. She, I think she was on the phone to Charlotte <laughs> just before for a while as yeah. well. Oh, good, good, yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's the thing too with with. I found, and she's had a taste of it too, um, going to an event, she met some of the people like that, which is really, really cool. And you can yeah. see them on Facebook and online and all that, but when you actually get to meet them, um, you get that connection. That's a big part about events too, guys. You can learn anything. You would know this too, Grant from Isogenics event and stuff, meeting some of the people. It's um, better than talking to them on a call and shit. Yeah, well, I'll actually get to meet all you blokes and everyone else that Amy spends all her time on her phone to, in person. Yeah, just don't punch us too much, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it will be happening soon. But like I say, we've just got to keep doing this, keep showing up, simple as that. No matter how challenging or annoying or frustrating or whatever, I have that belief, some belief, it's going to happen. Have faith. It's got to. Don't just make yeah. it cool. Yeah, that's it. I challenge all the other people in the team to get on get on these calls. If I can get on here working seven days a week, yep. plus after hours I'm sorting stuff out to get me builder's license and stuff like that. I've got other stuff going on with a mate from Queensland about trading and that. But, and I can still put time into this, so why can't they? If I can fit all that in, plus be a dad in amongst all that. I absolutely 10,000% agree. Seriously. I hear the word busy, serious, from 
others in the team or anyone, even people I'm talking to and prospecting. I hear that, I'm like, bullshit. Mm. But you know what? It goes back to it. You guys have got a strong why. It's simple as that. It just showing up shows it. It's as simple as that. That's why I, I have faith in you guys. Fuck, it'll be good to have a team of just fucking builders and hard workers and shit. <laughs> all, all men. How cool would that be? <laughs> I could probably deal with that. But no, nah, you're spot on, Lee. And like I say, me and Kyle have had chats like this. Me and Grant have had chats like this. Exactly like this. If you guys can make the time, why can't they? And what I have to do, we just got to get more. Like I got to say, keep showing up, improving ourselves. The right people will show up. It's happened in my world. It keeps happening. Sometimes they, they, they're they not ready to go on. It's as simple as that. Sometimes they need to be in more pain. Sometimes they need to lose something. Sometimes they need to quit. Mm. Humans, we're bastards of things. <laughs> mm. But like I say, back to it, I really appreciate you guys being on. This has actually been really, really cool. I'm going to get in trouble, but who cares? Blokes night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a killer. I, I've been feeling a bit better today. I'm gonna do a killer live feed on this tomorrow. I might hold off on putting the recording in and lose my shit a bit. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, from a bloke's perspective, I might get in trouble. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, why not? Appreciate your time, guys. Chat to you soon. Thanks, man. Thanks. Eddie.